Hey everybody, it's Glenn, back with another Clash Royale analysis video. Let's take a look at another game from the Note to League World Championship Stage 2. Featuring Surge and Vitor. This is the game that got Vitor into Stage 3. He's just leading 2-1 to one in the Grand Finals of Stage 2, Day 2. Trying to win in the West region. And we're already starting because they really didn't do anything for the first first minute right. or so and Vitor was using a Vitor. graveyard poison lineup that had Mega Knight and Hunter so it's a very very sturdy lineup with a lot of beef in it to set up for the graveyard and the poison it's just a matter of how uh, Vitor wanted to Evanish, uh, to deploy each of his uh, uh win conditions three. in the certain spots this is kind of a really I wouldn't say. I guess it would be the pitcher's duel type of uh, type of game that ended a a match, and it was Surge who decided to go for first, bringing in a barrel, and Vitor must have sensed that. Okay, if you're gonna bring in a barrel, that means you must have a bar putt, which uh, Surge eventually plays. And here comes Mega Knight. He's just gonna smash those barbarians and the knight and he had to get in front of that knight you want to protect the you want to protect that hunter yeah he had to get in front of that knight because you don't want you don't want uh the knight getting anywhere close to that hunter because of that beef like it's like i said with that beef here's the opportunity for for vitor to play graveyard and there wasn't really a, a good answer for sir so he just has to play poison and just stop that attack and that's, I think that's just how he's going to have to do it for, for this game. There really isn't a way to say, okay, I'm going to bring out, uh, there's no Dark Goblin with this lineup. Uh, Baby D is too slow to to make a, a legitimate stop. It's going to have to be Poison, and you're just going to have to deal with it. And guess what? Vitor's going to have to do the same thing as he does right here. Yep, Graveyard gets played. Delivery you have to bring Poison right down well. to just stop that attack. He brings in Delivery as well, which is, is really good because then if Both players playing graveyard. Vitor sees an opportunity, he can play uh, Graveyard as well. But he Your doesn't do it here. He decides to play Mega Knight in the back. And I thought when, when he played this Mega Knight in the back, it made me believe that Vitor really wanted this game to go into not only overtime, but he was really looking for kind of the draw type of game where it didn't seem like he's going to get a tower. You know, with this lineup, you really have to nail it with the graveyard and poison. And he's going to be using poison for defense, it looks like, because Surge also has graveyard poison. He has a splash shard. So this... When I saw this, this Mega Knight come in, where it was played, it just had that feeling of, okay, this game is going to go the full five minutes. And don't expect these massive big hits on the tower. It's going to be whoever can can get a decent shot on the tower is going to win. I mean, right there with that poison. It's this had <laughs> the immediate feel of, Sit back, so get some lemonade, because we're going to be here for quite a while. And because from Surge, DS Mike, Surge played that, uh, because Surge played that poison there, he couldn't play it where the graveyard gets played. So he has to bring in that musketeer and delivery so it's gonna be to stop that who is gonna be able to that graveyard attack, matchup. which is really good because if he can get rid of this Mega Knight here, then that sets up for a push, uh, a counter push. Bar putts. It would be a very slow yes, counter push, but one worth doing, matchup. but Vitor says, nah, I'm just going to uh, poison him. And a very cycle back to to so another Mega Knight. Strong. So this feels like the, no the really played. first good opportunity to do something, but <laughs> a Barbarian gets gets Outdoor caught back, and Mega Knight goes back and really just plants himself at the bridge. Search Nothing doing. And that graveyard, the skeleton from the graveyard, gets some shots in, and that felt like that was the game. So let's take a look at that. So, if he can continue to so we have the poison, and then the Mega Knight comes back in. 
and so Vitor kind of senses that there may be an opportunity to play a graveyard, so he does right here. Now, it looks like this Musketeer was going to answer to the graveyard, but once the Musketeer took the stuff forward, I was like, oh no, it may not. It may go after the Mega Knight. Nope, but it does go after Alvito one skeleton, but that's not enough. And the delivery just couldn't solo it. So Vitor gets some damage on the tower and has a very comfortable lead, but it looks like Surge is going to do the same. No, have Ewiz, have Hunter. And we see our first fisherman on the board. I'm kind of surprised that fisherman didn't come earlier. When we saw that Mega Knight get play in the back, not necessarily like um, here, but when we got play in the back here, I mean, I was telling you about that feeling that this game may go the full five minutes. I think perhaps there's a possibility to bring in fisherman. The only concern would be perhaps with the with the graveyard that fisherman would just get it locked in a in a constant loop and not actually pull anything. It would just be there just kind of spectating. And we see that a lot with Firecracker, where Firecracker will just get into this uh, kind of a spectator state and not really do anything because she's locking in on a target and then that target's gone. Then she's locking in on another target and then all of a sudden, she's it's, not, it's like 10 seconds past. She still hasn't done anything. It felt that way with the Fisherman. So I can understand why the Fisherman was not played until right here and another Mega Knight gets to play in the back and again I, I just had that feeling that this game just was, did not feel like it was going to be a big hits and tower down and sometimes you just have to win games like this so Ewiz comes and stops this push and it feels like something's going to happen but Mega Knight comes in and stops this this push, meanwhile, very, very the graveyard match, he's never get any looks like it's going to do some, but delivery and skeletons do their job. Ewis does his job a minute to go, and look, I mean, 2,000 to 1,800. You expect anything massive to happen in, in a minute with these two lineups? Very doubtful. If Surge brings in a barb hut, it's, it's, it's for defense. It's not to set up for a big attack because, I mean, there's only a minute left, and what are you going to do with this lineup? This was – it It was very – I would say it was just, this game was very tough to watch, but it was very difficult to to say, hey, you know, this is – This is – this is very fantastic. I mean, this is great to see, like, how – and a baby dragon, two Both tanks. players understood that this game was going to go the full five minutes, and, and could there be a push? That was the opportunity right there, I thought, for Surge, but another Mega Knight, and it's a defensive Mega Knight. If you look like how it was played, I mean, this push right here, and it looks like everybody's going to go to the tower, but Mega Knight said, nah, no, no, I, I have a bunch of health, and we'll just have you uh, target me. Another Hunter comes in. Great Hunter right here, because if he... If Surge plays Graveyard, which he did, this Hunter can stay back. And can just blast that Barbarian. Delivery comes in, supports with E-Wiz. And a Poison, and it looks like this Baby D is going to come in. But nope, Fisherman does his job. And I was talking about that loop right there. That's what I was That's what I was mentioning. You see, you see how that, that Fisherman was just in an infinite loop because it was looking for a skeleton to target, but Delivery and... He was were taking out each of the targets every time. The saving grace for that was was really okay. It wasn't about this fisherman doing doing anything. It was just about hey, just stay right there and and make sure the baby dragon does doesn't go after the tower. If the baby dragon comes at the tower, this game turns to search TS. Instead, fisherman's on an infinite loop. This is gonna come down to doesn't do anything, poison. and on the left Vitor hand, gets a poison like down, that, which seals over. it. Vitor is gonna take this game Surge tries to get one more in there, but uh, just ran tower. out of time, and, and the delivery and skeletons uh, do their job. So this was this was really a grind. I mean, <laughs> it was it was tough to watch because you're just expecting for the big hits. You, you damaged your leg a couple of You're expecting, ago. you know, kind of the Sorry, breakthrough moment for, for one player or the other, and 
it never really happened <laughs> to be honest it just never really happened it's just vtor came in and said okay i'm just gonna do just enough to win play it really slowly use mega knight to just kind of absorb all the all the damage have everybody else play defense and then we'll just get to the graveyard poison uh as little as we can get and we just hope that that's enough and that ended up being enough for vtor so tough game to watch uh yeah, a very, a very tough game to watch, and you feel bad for uh, for Surge that that's how it ends. But uh, you know that's sometimes how it goes in Clash Royale. So congrats, to Vitor, on advancing to stage three. I'm gonna innovate right here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe wherever you're watching us, and I'll see you in the next video.